Nod or shake reviews. Willie nod or Willie shake. Yeah! Hello, Johnny here with Jim Bobby. Welcome to another thing of nod or shake reviews. Not if it's good. Shake if it's not so good. I did the wrong thing. Either way, you should check it out because you might find your new favorite movie. How so? I was like, not if it's good. Shake if it's not so good. So... I would like to maybe, 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 if you're in the area, have a big showing, big in the terms that we can get big, of The Exorcist. It's out in October. They just moved the date because of the Taylor Swift concert. So I love how much production company has faith in their movie. <laughs> uh so I believe it's October 5th. So if you're in the local area and have something you're interested, let's celebrate Halloween together very early. They uh, didn't want two movies uh, I, I know, with, I know. dealing with the Antichrist at the same time. One sold uh, No, I, I just think they, they know that the Taylor Swift movie will probably I'm make more money. I'm saying a joke. Oh. So, alrighty, uh, before we get on to the review, uh, I'm going to give some spoilers away. I don't know what you're going to do, but uh, spoilers on my end. Depends on how you define spoils. It's going to be, it's like... Like, am I giving th things away, or am I just... I'm giving things away. Uh, but, uh, alright, so on with the review. Again, I was joking. Oh, sorry. You become very literal when you're very tired. I am, I am on zero You're very energy fun to right be now. around. You're very fun. Uh, Let's right. get into it. I'm excited. Alrighty, on to the review. The Equalizer 3. <clears throat> you didn't like it? Oh man, I, I really thought the entire time that you were really into this film. If I wasn't bored out of my mind, I was sleeping. I understand character development. <clears throat> but there was development? There's, there's such of a thing as... Maybe you're taking too long to develop these characters and they're just kind of bland characters. So it was just it was just a lot of like kind of there was literally a lot of walking around in the beginning and it wasn't visually stunning. Like if they were like if they, if they like had a shot at like 530 in the morning and the sun was just going down and Denzel was walk, walking on a beach on his cane. And it's like you're seeing the sun go down in real time. And you're like, wow, I've never seen this image before. That's one thing. But my mammy is, my mammy is just literally just walking around on his cane. What did you just say? Words. He's, um, <laughs> he's literally just walking Dude, around on I, his cane. I could cane. have swore you looked stunned. I thought you thought this movie was stunning. You no, looked I was stunned, stunned at how bored I was. At such, a, at such a concept that really... It's it's a revenge film, it, not in terms of that you think of like oh this person dies, so he's going to seek revenge. It's more of a these people are messing with his community, so he feels like he has to deal with the situation, kind of revenge. And you spoiling things for others is literally everybody else who goes into this movie who saw the first two. I never that that's the other thing, and maybe again this is on me, so maybe I'm missing a very inter, <laughs> yes. integral part of the of the of this franchise. Not not that anything that would save this. Thing. I have I've never seen any any of the other two. There were some things I was able to pick up at the end because it was it was obvious there was a picture of Bill Pullman. I'm like, all right, they didn't just get Bill Pullman to take a picture. So clearly no, he's they from did. they totally a preceding did. feature starring Denzel Washington. The other thing is, and this is my final note, I guess, if you're going to have a revenge uh, film, have uh, a hateful villain, but not in a sense that, well, I guess, yeah, in the sense that, like, you're waiting, you're just waiting for him to get the most satisfying death or the most satisfying, like, burn, like, the, the guy, I just spat over everywhere, like, the, the, the satisfying, like, burn that someone says... Because they, they had a character, and like, oh, man, this guy sucks. I really can't wait for him to get his comeuppance. And then he dies. Like, real come up. And then Like, it came up yeah, to come Yeah, up. and then it was like, oh, okay, that was satisfying. And no, then the, it and then wasn't. The movie, it was way too early. And then the movie was like, we ain't done yet. Yeah, and we then, ain't done yet. You forgot about that one guy you don't really care about. Yeah. Oh, he's and, and menacing it's like, whatsoever. Yeah, it's like they got to him, and it's like... Well, I, I guess he sucks. He's not as annoying as that one guy was. And then when he 
No, he was the more more mature of the two. Yeah, when and when that guy died, it was like, oh, cool, he's walking. And Denzel's just following him. Let me tell you, walking. Cool. A lot of walking. A lot of walking. walking. A lot of walking. Listen, Denzi, my man. <sighs> Shit, bro. He was good in this. That's the only he thing He is I'm always say. good. Yeah. My man could read the dictionary and I would find it enthralling. Yeah. It's it's just, what did you do? Did you read this script with your eyes closed? Mm. Did you, you know, or maybe he took it on saying I could literally act in anything. But like, listen, all right, you're absolutely right. Everybody else except for Denzel was a puff. Like, just nothing there. Um... I am really beginning to start, like, I'm seeing this trend. It's been trending for a long time now. Uh, whoever they got writing for them in Hollywood, they do not care about the consumer anymore. They literally just want to pump these things out, get the names on them so that they get people in the seats. They think you're dumb. I've been saying that for a long time now. They think you'll go in here and believe that this is a good movie for two reasons. That it's got Denzel and that it was just nothing new from the first two. Except for the fact that the first one developed the characters and made you care about them. And it, it's not, in my view, it's not a revenge tale. Because to Denzel's character, he's got very little stake in the game. He is a caring person and he believes in balance. That's who his character is. He believes that there is a balance. And this movie had that balance the least. The least. You didn't get it until the end where they did the thing with the money. Where he took the money for a purpose. And it was the whole purpose all along. Don't fall asleep while I'm talking. I'm not. I'm not. I'm listening. I'm listening. Offended. I'm listening. Bro, your eyes were rolling in the back of your head. I'm, I literally listened to anyway, everything Anyway, that's you said essentially about all I have to say, being that I saw. I didn't see the second one because I didn't care enough. Because I understood that the first one was so good, but it was a one off. Not everything is a death wish where you can watch Charles Bronson kill people every single time with that mm. pencil thin mustache. It's, it's, so, it's so weird to me that someone was like, you know what we need? Another equal. Let's equal this equation out with one more. I I I, I don't know. I, I, the other thing is kind of like a last note. Like I feel like I've seen this movie a hundred times in a hundred different ways. So that was like another thing. That's like, the thing though. Like go. Like I know it's gonna be hard because you're starting off here. Watch the first one. It's a good movie because they concentrate more on Denzel and Denzel's character and what he does and what. Why it's so proficient? Are you are you friends with Denzel Washington? That yes. You can say his first name. One hundred percent. I've known him all my life. That's a fact. We should get him on the show after we just crapped all over his movie. No, honestly, it's not his movie. He, he this is a paycheck to him, and you know what? That's what I'm starting to realize is no one really gives a shit anymore. Not not about you. Not about what they put out there to the world. But like people should start caring again. Because we literally miss out on a lot of great things. Great things. And, and it wasn't that long ago that we were in this car uh, talking about movies like Joker. You know, something that we thought was just so overdone and that we just get bombasted by freaking excellence. Now it's just one turd after another. <laughs> Equalize Man, that. that. That went somewhere, bro. I'm gonna. Play, I'm upset. I'm gonna play. Inspiring You're falling music. asleep during my review. Den Denzel's not calling me back. I wonder why. Alrighty, thanks for cringing. I might see Gran Turismo this weekend. I don't know. You're putting that off for some reason. That was like I, the listen, only film I was, that I was terribly sick that week. <laughs> so <laughs> I would look like Toxy from Toxic Avenger. Well, uh, let me tell you, that wouldn't stop me. Uh, <sighs> Uh, uh, next week, next week. What's next week? I, I don't know. I don't even know. So September 1st. It's, uh, yeah. Uh, there's, a, there's a movie next week. You'll find out with us. Thanks for cringing. Bye-bye. Bye. Thanks for cringing.